everybody. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing good. Oh, I'm going to sit and talk with you and try to answer your questions as best I can. Uh, hi, John. How you doing? Oh, hey, Senator. How you doing? I see uh, delegates and everything. I see people, you know, that are with us that uh, have been good enough to help along the way and try to make as many good things happen in this area as we possibly can make. Now, from what I understand, you know, we, uh, we've gone off on a project here and then we had some overruns. And so we have a delta of being able to finish it. And that delta is holding up the whole train. And, uh, and that is $250,000 that the overruns and the rock and everything we've encountered. And so we got to get this thing off the bubble. That's all there is to it. And so I don't know where, where my grant stuff, yeah. I, I, I want to read a little bit of this stuff to you. And, but uh, you can see, well, no, where's my other stuff? Yeah. The, the, uh, the improvements we've just made on the runway out here are fantastic, and that's through the SHOT group, and that's through the federal government, and through the Department of Transportation as well, and, and so we've all chimed in, and lo and behold, look what we got going on. And the airport's getting better. The airport, and the airport to me is always the heart of the community. And it starts with the airport, and then it goes to the schools and the roads and all the other stuff, but the airport is the pulse, in my opinion, always. So I want to read just a little bit of this to you that uh, in 2016, the Blue Well Public Service District received a federal ARC power grant to extend public water service to the airport. And then there's a lot of blah, blah, blah stuff and everything. And the loan was a project total cost of $3.5 million. And then there's other stuff, and it says the cost of the materials rose and more rock excavation rose, and then it said there's $250,000 in this last amount needed to finally get the project off the ground. After, after additional recent contributions from USDA and the West Virginia Inf Infrastructure and Jobs Development Council, you're still short, short money. So somebody's got to do something here. And so the net of the whole thing is we absolutely want to have public, I mean, uh, uh, public water at the airport. They've been using wells and the wells, you know, dry up or get low. And then you've got all kinds of issues going on there. It's always something. And so this just ensures a better facility and, and just the viability of the pulse that I referred to just a little while ago. So... So with that, and I'm sure we've got, you know, we've got members from our legislature and we've got some county commissioners or whatever here, but if y'all could come up here, I'll let somebody read this because I can't read that print. <laughs> so come on, come on y'all. They're all shy go there, that's a problem. Oh, well, I'm, just see if well, I'm glad we got somebody here Taller than me, not bigger, but taller. Hey, Senator, how you doing? Hey, Doggett, how you, sir? Good, good to see you. Hey, guys, Which good to see y'all. How you doing? Okay, good guys. You, well, now everybody comes. Is there anybody else here? here? Okay. <laughs> how we doing? Good to see y'all. Okay, since you're the big man in the world, right. read. All right. Dear Mr. Shoemaker, I'm pleased to inform you that I have approved the transfer of $250,000 of West Virginia's ARC Area Development Funds for the Mercer County Regional Airport Development and Diversification Initiative. I am forwarding the recommendation of the transfer of funds for the Commission's review and final approval. The funds will be extended to the public water service along Route 52 and Airport Road to the Mercer County Regional Airport in Mercer County. The project will increase access to reliable and clean water for area residents and businesses to improve the economic development potential of the regional airport, a critical economic asset in the region. The project will serve 75 new customers, including 10 businesses. You must not proceed with the project until you have been officially notified 
but additional funding has been approved by the Commission. I'm pleased to work with you and make this improvement a reality for the citizens of West Virginia. Sincerely, Jim Justice Governor. Okay. And so I'm giving this to I'm giving this to you. Right. I'm keeping my stuff and giving it to you. All right. Way to go. Congratulations. Yeah, that's good stuff. Really proud.